Hey everyone, how's it going? Crypto Takeover coming back with another video again for y'all this evening. And if y'all are brand new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single video that I make. Bitcoin just had a nice little pump up to almost 7200 area. Let's see what it can do. We, we need to break through some major uh, resistance right now, uh, but uh, we're going to see if Bitcoin has the momentum to maybe get above that resistance. So if that sounds interesting to y'all, please stick around like the video and let's go ahead and get started so if y'all are brand new to the channel uh I, we use the market cipher indicator by crypto face on this channel so uh if y'all are interested in getting that y'all can check the links down in the description box below we're getting started here on our 15 minute time frame you can see that we had our money flow that just started moving into that greenish territory uh, indicating that, yeah, it looked like there was a little bit of a pump that was ready to happen prob probably. Uh, this is uh, quite a bit of volume to uh, to send us up there um, to back to that 7200 area, almost putting in somewhat of a BART pattern for us as well. Uh, a little bit unexpected. Uh, I was not expecting this, to be honest, so um, definitely moved a direction that um, was um, was not in our favor of the group this time, but hey, uh, we have to take losses sometimes, and that's okay. Uh, I know that CF was pretty bullish uh, back here, thinking we were going to break out. We dumped, um, and then I think he ended up getting in on a trade um, right back here to send us back to the upside. So um, couldn't catch this one, can't catch them all. So um, we are going to reevaluate and just uh, hang tight here. So with that being said if y'all do want to trade with us y'all can check the links down in the description box right now i'm putting on a special for april uh this will be your locked in price and it is 35 percent off a of regular price right now so that is just for april if y'all are interested in joining us there feel free to sign up <clears throat> but couldn't catch this one it's okay we're going to come back again strong after this and then go from there so we are having a sell signal here on our 15 minute. Could see some retracement down to the bottom side. Looks like we're pretty overbought on the blue waves here. And then if we move into our 30 minute time frame, we are seeing a buy signal here right now. We had our money flow that did kind of push us back into that uh, greenish territory, indicating that maybe this, uh, we could have probably played off of this and expected that bullish cross. So. Um, very interesting here, um, but yeah, kind of caught off guard with this one. I uh, wasn't really expecting it. I thought we were going to continue to go lower, but our mid time frames are still really choppy, so uh, it really could have gone either direction. I was expecting after this squeeze here, this EMA, to maybe continue back down to the bottom side, but it looks like we were getting that bullish cross here, so <clears throat> definitely just something that we need to be aware of uh, moving forward. So uh, now we are getting somewhat of these bullish crosses right now, and we just have to go from there. Our one hour still hasn't even peaked into the green money flow just yet. So we could be coming back up to retest maybe this top trend line support, um, which was major resistance for us when we jumped up to that 7,500 area, um, you know, a couple weeks ago. But I would say that we really want to break this trend line support to indicate any type of bullish um, uptrend uh to continue our patterns right so maybe if we break 7300 then we'll have to uh probably start to flip long i'm actually kind of just waiting on the sideline right now i'm still not super super bullish just yet i would say that we need to break 7300 in order for us to um, possibly want to take this further to the upside so as of right now just kind of chilling uh but couldn't catch this move to the top side was expecting it to go a little bit lower first um, but that's okay. And then once we move into our two hour, you can see our two hour money flow still wants to go into that greenish territory. We are putting in a blue uh, triangle reversal signal as well here on Market Cipher. We had our buy signal back here on our two hour too. Um, so right now I've been programming kind of the bot to play off of the two hour, uh, checking on that to see how that works. And probably just gonna let this ride uh, for the meantime right now. So. Um, and I get carried away with uh, trying to mess with it too much and just let it do its own testing. Um, so here we can see that uh, money flow is still in the red, but maybe wanting to move up to the top side. Four hour buy signal has signaled. 
Um, a lot of choppiness here on our four hour two as well. Um, did look like we want to move back into that red, but now we're moving back into the green money flow. So we could still have some upwards potential here um, when, our, when our blue wave continues to go uh, further to the top side, right? <clears throat> And because we are experiencing very low volume here, it doesn't take a lot for a whale to just come in and pump these markets up really quick. So we do have to consider that, expect that, that, um, you know, when, um, if even a small whale was to come in here and move these markets, it wouldn't take much to move the markets because volume is so low right now too as well. Um, and we can see even on our six hour, we just had that nice big uh, green dildo candle just come in and uh, cause havoc on all of us. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, we got the squeeze here. I was expecting the four hour squeeze uh, between here to maybe send us lower, but it. But then again, um, because I was looking at the green money flow going into the red, I should have been more uh, concerned with the blue wave uh, and then getting ready to take that long position. So same here on our six hour. Um, we didn't quite get the squeeze. We were actually trending pretty hard below our 100 and um, our 13 EMA. And that's why I was thinking, oh, we're gonna have quite a bit of resistance up ahead. Um, but to be honest, nope, didn't look like it. Uh, <laughs> kind of shot right through that with uh, uh, this whale coming in here, buying up the market. So also our, our eight hours still looking somewhat, you know, kind of bearish a tad bit. Um, we are putting in that green dot down here but our money flow uh, still hasn't quite trended up as high as it previously was when we were at uh, 7,500. So I would say until we break 7,300, um, I kind of am not super, super bullish just yet. Uh, I still think that we probably have some um, lower numbers to hit first, um, but you know this, this has been very strong trend line support for us as of right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of maybe these, but um, I think this top trend line support, uh, you know, was all the way back uh, when we reached up to that 10K area uh, last time, that 10.5K uh, area, and uh, then it's just been pretty strong resistance for us there. So we'll have to take that into consideration and understand that it's a pretty strong trend line uh, for us to want to break through as of right now, um, and we'll see if we have enough momentum to maybe honestly break us through that. Um, but until then, I'm kind of just remaining on the sidelines. I would expect some more sideways movement for us here um, in the near term. And then, um, but if we can stay, I would say if we push back down below maybe that uh, 6,500 area, then uh, I'll have to consider um, a, a position possibly then too, right? So as of right now, just kind of waiting. I don't want to try and catch falling knives. Um, and I also encourage that in the group too. I have created a, uh, a rules uh, for our Discord server as well. So if you do decide to join um, the free Discord server, um, there is a set of rules that you have to accept before you enter the Discord server. Um, so feel free to check it out. Otherwise, it's free to join. And then um, in order to get access to the private channel on the Discord server, you have to become a, um, a verified member uh, in that, in order to sign up for that, you sign up through the Patreon page, uh, and then you can start trading with us a little bit better, right? Cool. And then also, uh, if y'all just want to sign up for the newsletter, um, I'll send out newsletters every once in a while. Feel free to sign up for the newsletter. Um, I'll do giveaways every once in a while as well, but, uh, I give my Patreon members private videos, um, on how to set up certain things in trading view, um, different things on the market as well. Usually I'll curate those and put them in the newsletter um, a couple of weeks after I've already posted them inside of the Patreon page as well. So check that out. I uh, hope to see y'all sign up for a few of those things. And then also the Telegram announcements is free to join. If y'all want to join me on there, I like to just post fun things in there. I don't get too serious on there, but uh, <laughs> feel free to join us on there if you want to keep up to date with us as well can see on our 21 hour we are also kind of moving into that greenish money flow uh putting in maybe somewhat of a green dot here in a little bit uh so we had the green dots all the way up until our 12 hour maybe putting in a green dot there and also our 21 hour possibly putting in a green dot so maybe still pushing us back up to this bottom top side here um, but i would say yeah until we are clear to break 7300 um, i'm not going to be super super bullish just yet somewhat of a doji here on our one day as well um, you know, getting held support by, um, our 13 EMA here. 
at about 6,900. Haven't quite closed the full body candle uh, uh, below it just yet. I know that on a regular candle, we were getting ready to close below it, but then we had this um, nice little pump up here uh, to send us a little bit higher. So really just gonna have to evaluate. We're not gonna jump into anything too crazy right now. I kinda just want to relax a little bit, enjoy the Easter weekend, and I hope that y'all do too. Um, and <laughs> don't over trade, right? So you can also see here on our two day, um, possibly, you know, maybe wanting to hold support here on the 13 EMA at about 6,500. Um, you can, we can still see that our money flow is kind of moving into that greenish territory as well. Um, but our VWAP and our blue wave are kind of moving sideways as of right now. Same with our three day. And then we can also take a look at the, um, Bitstamp chart, since I like to use Bitstamp sometimes too. Take a look at what's going on here. Turn back this on, turn this back on. We do have, we don't have a sell signal anywhere on our two day. I think we we're getting ready to put in a sell signal on our one day. It has not confirmed just yet though. So um, that is yet to be determined uh, with a nice little pump up to the top side. So uh, it does look like we're fighting with 7K again as of right now. So we just need to be aware of that as well. Um, probably a nice little liquidation um, pump to get some more liquidity back into the market. Um, that does seem what it seems to be like. If we retrace back down below 7K, yeah, I would expect that to have just been a <laughs> liquidity pump, if anything. So um, can also see on our three day, um, not quite getting above that um, 13 EMA at about 7K. So I, we'd have to wait to see if we close um, above that area, uh, which would be April 15th. So within the next couple of days, we'll have to see something then. We are getting um, somewhat of a um, stopping out pattern here on these EMAs on these higher time frames, And that's really what I just wanted to be aware of too, was these EMAs have been um, pretty nice stoppage areas for us. And, uh, you know, that's going to take a lot of momentum to get us back up through those key EMAs. Uh, but I think that, <clears throat> you know, that we're putting in big green dots down here uh, on Cypher B that, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a pretty big volatility um, rest of the couple of weeks going on into uh, May. So um, we'll just have to wait to see what's going to happen then. Um, let's check out our monthly time frame here. Yeah, monthly time frame. Um, still kind of trending under our key EMA there as well. Let's take a look at our two week. Putting in a nice little doji here, possibly uh, between our two week and our uh, key EMAs there as well. So, uh, guys, right now I'm just kind of chilling on the sideline. I don't want to take any position. I don't want to catch falling knives as of right now. So we will have to wait and see exactly how this ends up playing out for us in the next couple of days um, or maybe the rest of the month as of right now. But, um, you know, I do have a set of guidelines that you need to follow inside of the Discord channel. Um, so if y'all do join, just feel free to please abide by those and, um, you know, have, have fun in there. You know, we're all here to try and be successful. So... Uh, we have to learn to keep keep good attitudes, especially during uh, market fluctu fluctuations as well. So, with that being said, y'all, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Enjoy y'all uh, y'all y'all's Easter weekend and Easter Sunday, and uh, spend time with family. And yeah, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and so that way y'all can be updated every single video that I make. And CTO signing out.